Are you confused about selecting a right book for you? Sometimes we are confused which book is best among many books of any subject or from which book we should read. I will tell you what are the shortcomings and what goodies are there in the which book. You are on the right track. Keep watching this video. Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to review a book Concept of Modern Physics. This book is written by Arthur Bicer, a senior research scientist at Columbia University and its special Indian edition is prepared by Subit Mahajan and S. Roy Chaudhary. Good thing about this book is that it mainly covers each part of physics on our course in a very brief and interesting manner. So firstly, let's go what are the content in this book. Chapter first of this book is about relativity. It covers spatial relativity, time dilation, Doppler effect, length contraction, twin paradox and at the end of the chapter you will find Lorentz transformation and space time description also. Chapter 6 is about particle properties of a wave. In this chapter you will find electromagnetic wave, black body radiation, photoelectric effect, x-ray diffraction, Compton effect, pair production, photon and gravity and also a uh, some short of description about interference of light at ultra low intensities in chapter third you will find wave properties of a particle in this chapter you will find the broglie waves wave uh, phase and group velocities particle diffraction particle in a box uncertainty principle and interference with electron and atom in chapter four is about atomic structure and in this chapter you will find Atomic spectra, risk combination principle, Bohr atom, energy levels and spectra, correspondence principle, nuclear motion. And at the end of the chapter, you will find some short of description about the laser also. And uh, chapter 5 is about quantum mechanics. In this chapter, uh, you will find a short description about quantum mechanics at the starting of the chapter. And then uh, it covers expectation value, linearity and superposition, operator and uh, the finite potential well tunneling effect and harmonic oscillator as well in chapter 6 is about quantum theory of hydrogen atom in this chapter you will find all the mathematical stuff of the hydrogen atom and uh, finding selection rules Zeeman effect and spin orbit coupling and a very important and new topic is about the accidental degeneracy description is also given in this book uh, in chapter 7 you will find many electron atom and in this chapter it, in, uh, it includes electron spin exclusion principle symmetric and anti-symmetric wave functions periodic table atomic structure spin orbit coupling total angular momentum x-ray spectra and uh, some effects passion back and stark effect is also described in this book in chapter 8 you will find about molecules and in this it covers electron sharing complex molecule <coughs> rotational and energy levels vibrational energy levels raman effect in chapter 9 is about statistical mechanics in this chapter all the statics uh, maxwell boseman maxwell boseman quantum statics religions formula planck radiation law einstein approach specific heat of solid all is described in a very well manner in chapter 10 is about solid state physics and in this chapter you will find the a description about ionic crystal covalent crystal wand of wall bonding metallic bonding and about semiconductor devices pn junction theory and energy band description quantum hall effect and experimental result of hall effect is also given in this chapter and in chapter 11 is about nuclear structure in this chapter you will find nuclear composition stable nuclei binding energy liquid drop model shell model and uh, two nucleon potential description is also given there in chapter 12 is about nuclear transformation in this chapter you will find radioactive decay half-life radioactive series and alpha beta gamma decay and cross-section theory is also given nuclear fission fusion and nuclear reactor and um, an important thing is ongoing research Such matter is also given in this book in chapter 3 is about elementary particle this is short description is given in this chapter and chapter 14 is about cosmology 
द बिग पेन थ्योरी डार्क मेटर डार्क एनर्जी एलिमेंट्री पार्टिकल एंड देयर इंट्रैक्शन वॉन एल एंड बेल्ट एवोल्यूशन ऑफ स्टार इज गिवन इन दिस चैप्टर इन चैप्टर फिफ्टीन इज अबाउट न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन एंड आर्टिफिशियल रिडक्टिविटी इन दिस यू विल फाइंड न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन कार्बन डेटिंग पार्टिकल डिटेक्टर पार्टिकल एसिलेटर in iter project description is also given there this is all about the content let us proceed further and have an insight view of the chapter each chapter begins with a timeline table that tabulate development in that area and then we can uh, see that whole the chapter is divided into se sections you will find the theory related to the particular topic in that sections and you will find an appropriate diagram and the corresponding experiment description is also given in this solved example are provided in sufficient number in each chapter at appropriate location and you can find the corresponding diagram related to the theory is also given in this book there are many diagrams corresponding to the particular theory and as we proceed we can see that there are many solid example although the solid example are very less but it is appropriate to understand the particular topic at the end of the chapter you will find the advanced topic is given description and this chapter the lorentz transformation theory is given the space time description is also given in this chapter you can see the light cone time like interval space like interval and light like interval description at the end of the chapter you will find comprehensive question and answer session this question and the corresponding answer are given theoretically exercise is divided according to the topic again corresponding to each topic questions are categorized into three categories first one is co is conceptual type and second one is ac it is analyze and calculate type and the third one is apply type so you as you can see this is written at the end of the particular question and the odd number of question can be found at the end of the book as you can see the answer corresponding to the odd number of question are given so if you want to learn the basics and understand the concept this is the best book for you If you are finding difficulties to understand relativity, then I'll suggest you you should try its theory and exercise question as well. So you can find this book on a link given in the description below. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button and please subscribe my channel for more updates. So thank you for watching.